Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to worship at Harrow Baptist Church in Northwest London on Sunday, the 11th of April, 2021, the first Sunday after Easter. If you're a part of our regular congregation, you will probably know that I've been on leave this week and I am very grateful to Lynn Artis, one of our church members, uh, for leading the service and to the Reverend Jonathan Somerville from Woodford Baptist Church, who will be preaching for us today. I've heard Jonathan's message and I know you are really going to be blessed by listening to him. And that doesn't surprise me. He's an excellent minister. But I thank you to both Lynn and him for taking part in today's service. Today's service was pre-recorded before Easter. And there is always a risk of doing something like that, that there may be something newsworthy that we need to mention. And on Friday, we had the sad news of the passing of the Duke of Edinburgh at the age of 99. I didn't feel comfortable letting such a national occasion pass without making some mention of it. So I'm taking this opportunity at the start of our service to allow us space for a moment's silence and reflection and to pray for our royal family and especially our Queen. So I invite you to join me in a minute's silence. God of our lives, we give you thanks for the life of Prince Philip, for his service to our country and for his devotion to duty, his commitment to conservation and the benefits that the Duke of Edinburgh Award Scheme brought to so many young people. We also give thanks for how he stood with our Queen as her husband and closest friend over the last 73 years. We entrust him to your care and to your mercy and hold before you in prayer our royal family, especially our Queen. We pray that they may be, may be allowed the privacy they require to grieve. May they find in you and one another the support and comfort they need to face this hour. And may your blessing, your grace and your peace be with them in the days that lie ahead. For it's in the precious name of Jesus we pray these things. Amen. <laughs> 